So now let's look at a situation that's sort of backwards from what we had been doing before. So far, we've talked about how do we find the area under this curve given some z-score or some z-value, trying to find what this area under the curve is. This time, we're going to be given the area. Or in fact, because we can think of this as a probability or a percentage, we're going to say, what happens if you are given a percentage and you want the z-score that has a certain percent of the population below this z-score or above this z-score. So let's first start off with what you would do to try to find something where you have been given a percentage of the population that is less than the z-score. So let's just say you have a situation where you have 85% of your population is less than some z-score. What is that z-score? So what would you do? Well, you could go through and use normal CDF and go from negative infinity and just start guessing numbers. But that would be slow and would pretty much take forever. The way that you really want to do this is to use the command on your calculator called INV norm. And again, under our calculator series, there will be something there that will teach you how to use INV norm or how to get to it on your calculator. But INV norm, and INV norm basically takes an area that's to the left of some z value and calculates a z value for you. So here's our 85%. If we said that we wanted a z score that has 85% to the left of it, INV norm assumes that you're talking about the area to the left of the z value. So all you have to do is type in INV norm 0.85. And when you type that in on your calculator, what you'll get is 1.04, rounded to two decimal places. And so what that says is that under the standard normal distribution, if you had a z-score of 1.04, the area to the left of it was 0.85. Or equivalently, you could say that 85% of your scores were lower than, or had a z-score lower than 1.04.